thank you so much for being here on the show, the Paula G Show. How are you doing this evening? I'm good, and thank you so much for uh, having me. I really do appreciate you are, it. You are most welcome. You know, we're sisters in radio, so we got to look, oh, out, yeah, for definitely. <laughs> look definitely. out for each other. Oh, yeah, definitely. So tell the audience a little bit about how you got started in radio, because you've been in it for a oh. minute, and you've been doing a show for a minute. Yeah, I've been doing my show since 2005 at Love at 60 um, AM WAEC. I started out with 15 minutes, actually, and that 15 minutes seemed like it was like four hours. So I started wow. out with that, and then I gradually mm-hmm. moved up to 30, and one day my manager sat me down and was like, look, you've been at this radio station too long. You need to do an <laughs> hour. So that's why I'm even at an hour right now because of him. Right. And um, I got I got started. Uh, I used to have my own TV show, so I just wanted mm-hmm. to move that concept over to radio. You are so good at what you do, and I've had the honor of being a guest on your show as well. And you're well um, respected in the Atlanta area. What is oh, it thank that? You. What is it that drives you when it comes to radio? What drives me just being able to educate uh, our people, just being able to. Put information um, out there for an example. I didn't know anything about energy healing until I had someone on my show that talked about energy mm-hmm. healing. And then, you know, once I learned about energy healing, you know, I fell in love with it. So experiencing things like that on my show is what I really fall in love. The reason why I fall in love with, especially when my guests called me and told me that they learned so much from, you know, the shows that I've had in the past. Right, right. And because of your love and respect for this art of radio, there are some exciting events that are coming up in the Atlanta area. Share with the audience Mm -hmm. about what that is all about. We're honoring women in radio. These are some of the women that started out uh, at V103, 107.5, some of your local radio station. And the only reason why I decided to do because it has never uh, been done before, you know. Um, mm-hmm. People always think about the men, the men, the men need to be honored, but the women never have uh, been honored. And, you know, those are the ones that paved the way for you, for me, and for our other female uh, personalities. So I just felt that it was a much-needed recognition. So on April the 22nd, we're honoring men and women in radio. We're honoring those from blog talk, internet, and AM and FM stations. Wow. How many years have, have you been honoring women in radio at the state capitol here in Georgia? This is only my second one. I did it last yeah. year. and this is a, yeah. yeah, this is only my second one. Right. And, you know, yeah. I attended mm-hmm. last year, and it was, it was really humbling to have those women honored at the state capitol and then also for them to share their mm-hmm. stories. You know, about oh, yeah, how they definitely. started and, and the tests that they had to take and exams and, and all mm-hmm. those sorts of things. So um, can you share with us who the honorees mm-hmm. will be tomorrow? Um, the honorees will be Renee Miller. Of course, you can see her on, giving out those numbers uh, <laughs> on Georgia Lottery. I need to talk to her about that because I haven't won, won yet. And you Veronica haven't Waters. Yet. No, I haven't won yet, so we, we need um, to talk to her about calling out the wrong numbers. Renee tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not the wrong number. And then um, Veronica Waters, you can hear her voice on 104.1. She does the news. And Rakaya War, Rakaya War has been in radio for over 40 years. You can hear oh. her on, on 89.3. Matter of fact, she trained uh, Joyce Latell how to be a personality. Oh, and wow. also Lorraine Jacqueline White, you can hear her uh, on 1380. And she's been on radio for that same station for over 30 years. And mm-hmm. Cynthia Young, Cynthia Young is from 104.1. And uh, Marjorie Coley, Marjorie Coley is from V103. And also we're honoring uh, Miss Melissa Sommer. Melissa Sommer was, uh, she was also called back in, back in the day, everybody's girlfriend. And she also mm-hmm. is coming from V103. Wow. That yeah, so, awesome. yeah, we got the whole V103 family up in there that we're honoring um, <laughs> tomorrow. And a beautiful thing, some of the women that we honored last year are coming out this year. Oh, that'll be them. awesome. Yeah, yeah, that'll be awesome. And, it, you know, it's like I was saying before last year, I was just so humble just to be able to sit at their feet and just absorb that the wealth of knowledge that was oh, yeah, in the definitely. room last year. 
So if the women that are being honored this year Mm -hmm. are accompanied by the women that were honored last year, the wealth of knowledge in that room is just going to be overwhelming for those of us, you know, that, that, you know, are are in radio now. And definitely, Mm -hmm. they definitely, you know, paved the way. In the 12 years that you've been doing your show, how have you Mm -hmm. seen radio change? How have you seen it change? I've seen it actually change. Really not that much, but I see it changing a lot in the future. I honestly think that uh, internet radio would mm-hmm. be uh, would be the thing of the future, and I honestly think that AM and FM would be a thing of the past because when radio first started, AM was like FM, popular like FM. So it's mm-hmm. like now, you know, FM has taken over, and I think that internet radio station is uh, actually going to take over. Wow, so, yeah, so it's kind of like yes, yeah, evolution. Yeah, definitely. And some of the cars that they're building in the future now will have internet radio stations. You know, you can hear internet radio stations um, in okay. the cars. Wow. Mm-hmm. What are what are some what is some advice? Because we have these women in radio that we are being honored, and at some point in time, mm-hmm. you D Hill yourself will be honored. Because you've been in radio for a minute as well, and you you have the experience, mm-hmm. and you've done many many shows. What advice can you give to uh, not only myself but also other mm-hmm. radio hosts, other women in radio who are doing radio, especially internet radio? Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely at all times, keep it positive. Uh, mm. Love what you're doing. Um, definitely put it out there, you know, just like the guy that invented Nike. He say, just do it, just do it. You know, mm-hmm. whatever you think of. Don't. Some people say think outside the box, but pretend that there's no box. Right. And just be creative at what you're doing, and you will have no choice but to be blessed. 